Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me teaching. And today I have the HSC for you 2023 question 16A for you guys. Well, why don't we just jump into the question? So, let's first read. The question says, given the complex number w is equal to e to the power of i times 2 over 3 pi, the question isn't complete, right? Well, that's okay, because I'm going to explain the i and ii later, because right now we're going to do some observing. So, let's first observe w. What is the first thing you can notice? Well, the first thing that I can notice is that w, or that complex number, has a modulus of 1. And I'll explain to you why. Modulus 1. It has a modulus 1 because every complex number can be written into the form the REI theta of 1. And here the R is 1, so the modulus is 1. Simple as that. Okay. And another thing is that if you multiply any complex number by W, it only changes its direction, not its magnitude. Okay? Now, another thing. Is that if you notice this is actually a root of unity because root of unity because we know that that or w cube which is equal to that cube so e to the power you have to multiply that power by three to make it cubed so it will just be i times two pi and this is equal to 1. So that's why it's a root of unity. And this is actually a very important information to let us solve i and ii. So I'll just box this right here. Okay. And now we have everything we can use to now do i. So i says to prove that 1 plus w plus w squared is equal to zero. Now this is actually super simple because now we're going to use this information. So I'm going to move the one to the left hand side. So we'll get w cubed minus one is equal to zero. And now I'll factor the left hand side. So we'll get w minus one times w squared plus w plus one is equal to zero. So either this is equal to zero or this is equal to zero. But, as you can notice, the first one being equal to zero is definitely impossible. So, we have the second one being equal to zero. And, if you notice again, this and that are the same. So, we actually just proved it already. And, of course, don't forget the little box. You always need to include this. So, we have an equilateral triangle. Sorry for my super bad equilateral triangle and the markings are going anti-clockwise so a will be here b will be here c will be here and a has its own complex number little a b same little b c same little c okay and it asks us to prove that a plus bw plus cw squared is equal to zero. Okay, okay. So, hmm. Well, if you multiply w to any complex number, then this will mean rotating that complex number 2 over 3 pi anti-clockwise, okay? Anti-clockwise. So, this is an equilateral triangle, so every angle is pi over 3, right? So, let's see. This is pi over 3, and that is 2 over 3. Hmm. So, that implies that maybe we should multiply AB by W. And just a note, this is not a vector. This is a complex number. And another note, complex numbers and 2D vectors are isomorphic. More about that at the end of the video. Okay. So. If we multiply AB by W, then it's rotating this 
2 over 3 pi anti-clockwise, right? So, hmm, this is pi over 3, right? So it's basically rotating AC pi over 3. So it will be another equilateral triangle. Excuse me for my super bad drawing. This is pi over 3. And, of course, everything here is the same. So every single side you see is the same. Okay. So, hmm. We multiplied AB by W, right? In AB, A goes to B, like this. And then once you multiply by W, it goes like this, right? Now, so AB going this way is obviously B minus A. And then, don't forget, we multiply it by W. What is this equal to? Well, of course this is equal to this. But this is also equal to this. Because, first of all, they're parallel. Second of all, they're going the same direction. And they have the same length. So, we see that this is equal to this. So, it will be equal to C minus B. Okay. Now, I'll unpack the left-hand side. So, we'll get bw minus aw is equal to c minus b and then i'll move everything to the left hand side so we'll get bw plus b minus aw minus c is equal to zero and now i'm going to factor the b out so we'll get i'm gonna write this so we'll get b bracket 1 plus w i'm going to write it in that order minus a w minus c is equal to zero and now we have to use i so i'm going to say this is i information so we know 1 plus w plus w squared is equal to zero so 1 plus w is equal to negative w squared right so we know that this is negative w squared so negative b w squared minus a w minus c is equal to zero okay and now let's see in the proof we need to prove that there is a c w squared but here we just have a c so why don't we multiply both sides by w squared okay and now we have negative b w to the power of four minus a w to the power of three minus c w squared is equal to zero and now since the right hand side is zero make this back. since the right hand side is zero then we can multiply both sides by negative one so we'll get positive 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 good now doesn't this look like we've made it more complicated no it's actually way more simple because we see w cube is equal to one right so this is actually equal to 1. So this is just A. Look, this in this match. We say that this is equal to A. So this in this match. And now, here's the magic. W to the power of 4 is equal to W cubed times W, right? So it will be 1 times W. So this is just W. So it's BW. Match. Proved. At the little box. Okay, now, this is technically it, but now I'm going to explain just a bit about III. I won't go into further detail because I feel like it's really easy. And I think you guys can solve it yourself. Now we're going in a clockwise manner. So A, B, and C. And it basically wants you to prove the same thing. So... Here, we know that the B and C position just swapped, and the proof also just swapped the B and C. So, I think this is really straightforward, and you guys can do it yourself. And another thing is that, another thing that they want you to prove is that A squared plus B squared plus C squared is equal to AB plus BC plus AC. Okay? Now, this might look really hard to prove, but it's actually really easy. So, remember in II, we proved that A plus BW plus CW squared is equal to zero. 
And in III, we'll prove something super similar to that, just swap the B and C. And then, since we prove that they're equal to zero, one of them, like literally at least one of them, need to be equal to zero. So when you multiply them together, it's equal to zero. And when you multiply them out, you collect the like terms, and then you move stuff, it'll be like that. So that's basically it. But there's something I promised you that I would do and I haven't done. Is to write or let you guys know what isomorphism is. It's just a mathematical term. It's just mathematical jargon that you guys don't really need to know. But it's pretty fun to say. So we have the imaginary plane. So this is the real axis and then the imaginary axis. And then we have a point and a line. Well, that's a terrible line. Well, how would we express this in complex numbers? Well, of course, x plus y, i. And then we're going to have a normal Cartesian plane. But now we're going to use vectors. So we have line and a point. Well, how do we express this? Well, obviously, x comma y. And that and that are basically the same. But this is not it. There's one more thing. There's also another way to express this, and it's called the polar form. So we have a distance from, from the point to the origin, r, and an argument, theta, or an angle. And we have the same here. So how do we express this in complex numbers? Well, r times cosine theta plus i sine theta. How do we express this in vectors? Well, r cosine theta comma r sine theta. Also very similar. And emphasis on 2D vectors, OK? 2D in r2 space. When it's 3D, it's a whole new story, OK? So just remember this mathematical jargon, isomorphism, to impress your friends. Okay. Oh, and I forgot one more thing, is that there's also one way that they're exactly the same. It's how to prove that two complex numbers or two vectors are the same. So I'm going to say this in complex number way. We need to have the same magnitude and the same direction. And in vectors, it's the same. You just change the terms around a little bit. So now that's about it. And thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoy my videos, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.